Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Anya and today I'm gonna be giving you a review on Raised Reel. So I learned about Raised Reel from a good friend of mine. I actually have a 19 month old right now and when I started feeding him solids it was a little bit of a touch and go situation and one of my friends learned about this company and knew about how you know they work and she sent me over the link and I started looking into them. I really liked what they were offering and signed up immediately. I really have enjoyed the time that I have been getting meals from Raised Reel and I feel like now that I am I almost like a year into receiving Raised Reel meals on a consistent basis I think I could give you a pretty good idea of number one what it is what it's like um, how good or not so good <laughs> and also what to expect so let's get started so much like a subscription service, I just went online and signed up, gave them my uh, credit card information, and every two weeks they go ahead and send me a box just like this one. Each box has five uh, individual meals, and each meal has four packs each. So I can give Sebastian uh, the variety of five different things over a two-week period, and I could feed him ideally four times each of these things now i will say from the very beginning that sebastian does eat a lot so what is normally four meals actually turns into two for him he actually has two of these meals at a time what happens after i signed up online gave them my billing information they started sending me the box at the very beginning because i do believe that they were very new when i first started getting boxes um, they weren't really flexible with their orders so i did notice that there were a few things in our orders that sebastian was not really into at all and honestly there's no real way to be able to know what your kid is gonna like or not like unless they get exposed to it right so and actually and even then if you if you are exposing them to these particular items sometimes they may hate it for like a month and then the, it's the one thing that they love the most which is really puzzling but i guess it's just a you know a thing that you have to just keep on trying keep exposing them to it keep on going keep on going until one day they're like i see the light <laughs> at the very beginning he was really not into chickpeas he was very much not into like mint peas um kid actually not kidney beans the uh, white beans navy beans so i contacted them and i asked can we eliminate these specific ingredients from the box that we're getting on a week actually on a two-week basis they told me that was not available however that is available as an option now so i think that is absolutely great we've been able to customize and say we don't want these ingredients and so they send us things that my child will actually eat Another thing that happened to me was that at the very beginning, Sebastian was a little bit iffy about trying out the things that were coming on a consistent basis. And I contacted them and I said, I want to stop the subscription. I just want to, you know, let go of it because I, I find myself not being able to feed him what comes in it. And then eventually I have to throw out the things because now they're old they actually were super understanding and very accommodating they got back to me immediately and they said why don't you try for a couple more weeks and what we will do is just extend your membership so that instead of every two weeks you're getting meals every six weeks and so instead of having your fridge full of these meals on a bi-weekly basis you are getting the opportunity to just spread them out throughout the month maybe introduce something else uh to your kid and then go back and reevaluate whether you want to or not let me tell you this was a great business strategy i think that they did a phenomenal job in managing uh, that situation because look at me now I'm one year later and I'm still ordering from them Sebastian definitely turned around to the idea for sure he's been eating his raised real meals without an issue whatsoever and I honestly think they're great 
One of the things that I really enjoy out of the company is that they send you these cards that give you the specific instructions as to how you can cook the meals and serve them to your child. There's a variety of different ways that they suggest it. You can also do whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with doing. I mean, I definitely have incorporated the ingredients that come in these pouches on like bigger and grander type of recipes that I have enhanced to give to Sebastian or to really be very creative about giving him something that he may not be that familiar with or that content with having like chickpeas. I remember one time I actually incorporated the chickpeas which came with cauliflower and turmeric. I mean, definitely very nutritious and the value of it, nutritionally speaking, was amazing. Uh, so I didn't want to just go ahead and throw it out, but he was not eating it. There was no way this kid would eat it. So what I ended up doing was making it into like a stew type of recipe where I cooked it with some garlic and onion, I sauteed it, I put some um, coconut milk in it so it was a little bit more creamy and then I actually blended it and it formed like a puree um, kind of creamy soup consistency. He ate it all up and like loved it loved it and so he ended up getting still the all the, the nutritional value that came with um, the meal but then i you know doctored it up to match whatever he could actually stand so the meals come individually in these little packets and the little packets are four of the same type of ingredients what i typically do is that i get two of them at a time to feed sebastian one meal Sebastian has been eating two of these in one meal for many, many months now. And this is actually one of the things that I did contact them about and I asked, hey, is there any way that as the child gets older, we could modify the amount that comes in the pouches? I, I explained that Sebastian eats two of them in a sitting and he's actually been eating two of them in a sitting for many, many months now. He definitely loves his food. This kid is a, the type of child that will eat like the volume of an adult <laughs> so we um have definitely modified the volume that we give him in and and by the way he's not heavy <laughs> he is just a very good eater he's tall and lean you've seen him before on my channel so you know that i'm saying the truth and he loves his food so whenever i serve him the meals i give him two at a time and he's completely satisfied they're super easy to cook and very easy to manage, so definitely a plus there. The other thing that is amazing is that every single pouch comes with a nutrition card associated with it, so it gives you all of the nutritional facts behind every meal and what it's good for. I mean, I think that that is really a key component of this whole situation. The ingredients are fresh, the um, pairings that they put together, I definitely wouldn't have done myself at all. So I'm very, very happy that every single time I pull one of these meals out for Sebastian, it's not just like a get me out of trouble type of meal. It's a, I'm, I'm, I feel good that I'm giving him something good. So as I mentioned, I do receive these meals every two weeks. That means that it's not enough for me to just rely 100% on these raised real meals. And I honestly do recommend that you don't either. I use these to kind of supplement and give me a little bit of a break whenever I don't have enough time to cook something up and whip something up out of nowhere last minute. I do work full time and of course I'm a full time mom too. Uh, I definitely try to make sure that all of these different areas in my life are playing in harmony and having the opportunity to just rely on these meals to give me a little bit of a break when I haven't come up with the perfect recipe or had have had the time to actually cook anything is amazing. 
so what i usually do is that one of his meals a day i cook for him myself and the other meal is a raised real meal uh, typically i run out of them a little bit before the two week mark but i do have other options that i incorporate when i cook myself all of the other different options so that's not a big deal at all the other great thing is that, as you know, I am incorporating only plant-based ingredients in Sebastian's diet. This subscription service only serves plant-based ingredients. And so I've never had an issue of like trying to pick out anything that I don't want to incorporate in his diet, which is amazing. Nutritionally speaking, it's a very, very good option and I really have enjoyed the variety as well. The other thing I did experience one time that there was an issue in the mail, there was like a storm or something and we had a, a few days delay in the box actually arriving. The company contacted me and said the box would be delayed a day. So. I kept an eye on it, it didn't come. The next day they emailed me again and asked had the box arrived. I said no it had not unfortunately and they actually did get back to me right away and said they apologized for the inconvenience, they would credit me back the uh, money for the specific box and they would put me in, uh, in line to receive my box the week after that so it was just a delay in receiving the box because every ingredient in here is completely fresh which i am you know it's a priority for me so i totally was not mad about the fact that they were like you know sorry it'll take a week to get another box out to you i definitely understood you know things happen and i appreciated the fact that they were able to say because those ingredients now are compromised being that there is a long delay in the travel completely forget about it we will refund you your money and give you another box next week that is fresh and that you will receive on time so i was very very happy about that and it also gave me some peace of mind that they will do the right thing it's not like a situation where they're like oh it's okay just put it back in the freezer and it'll refreeze and it, it's fine what I typically do to cook my meals, and this is the way that Sebastian enjoys to eat them the most, I typically just grab two pouches, put it in a small saucepan, and I put one fourth of a cup of water in it to steam. So I put it in about medium heat, and once it starts boiling, I put it down to medium low heat and set it there for maybe another five, seven minutes. Typically I like to wait until it browns a little bit in the bottom and that just gives me the little, a little bit of more peace of mind that everything is like super nice and cooked and tasty. And then I put all of that in a small bowl for Sebastian. Um, I also just, you know, sometimes smash things up a little tiny bit so that everything can be incorporated together and most of the time there's two spoons involved so he has one and i have one and while he's playing around and just dabbling into the idea of feeding himself for now i do do most of the work and feed him myself so i would definitely recommend raise real i think that they are a great company that stands behind their fresh ingredients their nutritional value in every single meal that they provide the freshness of um, actually arriving in good standing condition and you know the customer service i feel has been absolutely amazing so i definitely encourage you to try it out let me know what you think of them if you do i would love to hear your opinion as well thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye